Hello teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po at your service. Alam nyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema! Dahil welcome ang lahat dito. Para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS, at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pamumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. There you go. Good afternoon, parents, teachers, and of course, our dear learners. Kumusta po kayo? And welcome to our Itlay online tutorial for the subject English 3. Ako po ang inyong makakasama this afternoon. May inaasikaso lamang po si Tutor May. I am Tutor Jester, your substitute tutor. And I'll be with you from 2.20 until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We are live and loud from the different Facebook and YouTube account of the Department of Education, YouTube and Facebook Live na live tayo. All learnings from those or this pages. Okay, so let's begin. Our um, topic for this afternoon is the degrees of adjectives. We are on quarter four, week one. Our topic is degrees of adjectives. Alam ko na, alam nyo na. Ang adjective, di ba? So, we will try to get more of these as we go along with our lesson. So, at the end of this tutorial, you are expected to first identify the different degrees of adjectives. And also, you are to classify the degrees of adjectives from one another and select the proper degree of adjective to fill in incomplete sentences. Okay? Right. So in the previous week or in the previous quarter, you were able to uh, learn with teacher with Tutor May the comparison and contrast text and the parts of a simple story. And we all know that the comparison, 
comparison and contrast text, it is a kind of informational text that determines the similarities and differences of two or more people, even animals, things, places, and even ideas. A simple story can be a fictional or the non-fictional text. Makatotohanan at uh, medyo, uh, I mean, makatotohanan at hindi makatotohanan, di ba? That has a title, characters, a setting, and events. Yung character, yung tauhan, yung setting, the time and place, kung saan uh, naganap yung pangyayari and yung mismong content or yung events. Okay, I have here a picture. Maraming salamat kay Ma'am May for um, siya po ang bumuo ng ating PowerPoint. Maraming salamat po. Meron tayong picture dito. Tapping knowledge and related to the lesson. Nakaka-relate for sure ang inyong mga parents and guardians, mga plantito at plantita. <laughs> Kasi we have here a pot and a plant. Okay, do you have plants at home? Meron ba kayong uh, plant or halaman sa bahay? Ha? Pwede kayong mag-type. Alright. Watching from Enrique Bautista Elementary School in San Pablo, City, Laguna. That's uh, Lord Genre de los Santos. Watching from Post Elementary School. That's Joel Jordan. Watching from Tilapayong Elementary School, Iana Rain. Leonardo, and many. Uh, may, but I will try to read all of your comments. Yes po, meron po kami. Si Jacqueline, si Ryan, Janelle, I have a plant in our home. Brandon, Jacqueline, Lelaine, meron po. What kind of plant? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think taking care of plants is so famous nowadays? Bakit daw uh, yung pag-aalaga daw ng mga halaman ay talagang popular ngayon. Dahil ba, community quarantine tayo? Nauuso talaga, di ba? Watching from SSC, EBMES, Special Science Class, that's Asli Zamora. Okay. I have here an activity. All we need to do is to, here's the directions. Listen to the teacher as he reads Billy and Jenny's conversation. Then, be ready to answer some questions about their dialogue. So si Billy and si Jenny are our two characters. Snake plants daw, meron si Joel Jordan. Yes po, meron daw siya doon. Very nice, huh? So let's begin. Jenny, look at this plant. It's big. Yes, Billy. It is big. Now, look at this plant. It's bigger than your plant. Oh, I agree with you. Take a look at the plant in the rectangular pot. Pointing to the plant in the corner. That plant is the biggest among the three. That's one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, here is the question. Oh. Okay. So, how did Billy describe his plant? Billy said that his plant is indeed big. So, big lang. Diba? Next. How did Jenny describe her plan? Jenny said that her plan is bigger. Mas malaki. Okay? Or mas mataas. Maaari din. Okay. Okay. How did the plan in the rectangular pot look like according to Jenny? According to Jenny, Jenny said that the plan in the rectangular pot is the biggest. So as you notice, Online learners, we got big, bigger, and biggest. Let's try saying the following words. Big, bigger, and biggest. Kayo nga sa bahay nyo. In three, two, one, repeat after me. Big, bigger, biggest. Kayo nga lamang. In three, two, one. Very good. Yeah, you got it right, Janelle. Galing nga, Yana. Okay. Next. How does each word below differ from one another? Ano din pagkakaiba ng mga words? Big, bigger, and biggest. Huh. Oi, watching from Magbanwa Elementary School from San 
Carlos Pangasinan, Grade 3 Blue Good. Um, that's Jing Jewel Bulata. Okay? So, there is a change in spelling. We added, uh, we have there the base form, the big. Then the bigger we added, another G, then E-R. Then for the biggest, we added G and S or E-S-T. Okay? Right, according to IROS, they add E-R and it to the root word big po. Yeah, the, the difference in the spelling. You're correct, Janelle Matulak, because they are different in size according to Yana. Very nice talaga, ha? Okay. How does each word below differ? Let's try to analyze. We got big, bigger, and biggest. Each word is different from one another or from one other because of the changes in the spelling that happened in each word. Nakikita naman natin, di ba? Big, then bigger, nag-add tayo ng mga other letters. Then from bigger, naging biggest. So, merong naidagdag. Okay? Spelling yon. Correct, Jinjo. Very good, ah. Means different in sizes. It's coming from Ramiel. Espo. Yan. Very good. I, Ross. Oo. Okay. Correct yun, ah. I, Ross. Okay, so given the picture and the words for each plant, what do you think is the difference of the three words from one another? Now try to figure out the picture and its corresponding word dun sa taas. Big. Hmm. Yung pot and plant. Then your second picture. Bigger. Next. Ayan. Biggest. In sizes po, according to Lord Janre de la Santos. Very good, Lord Janre. Okay. Now, each word describes the plants by comparing their varying sizes. Correct ka, Jan Janre. Watching from E.B. Magalona Elementary School, si Princess Stephanie Hetsanova. Okay. Big. First picture. Then followed by bigger and biggest. Ayan. These words show the degrees of adjectives. So meron tayo tinatawag na degrees ng adjective. We will try to have it and this one. And we all know that adjectives are words that describe person, places, things, animals, and events. Ano ba sa Tagalog ng adjective? Ano sa Tagalog ng adjective? I will wait for your answers. They tell something about a noun. Adjectives have three degrees of comparisons. These are the, ito yung degrees ng adjectives na pag-aaralan natin. Positive, comparative, and superlative degrees. Correct ka dyan. You're correct, Pang-Uri, Janelle. Okay. Hello and good afternoon to Shutor Angel. Thank you so much, Paul. So again, the positive degree, then followed by comparative degree, and the last one, superlative degree. Let's have it one by one. The positive degree signifies quality. It talks about only one thing, and it is not being compared with one another. Walang comparison at all. Basic ika nga, di ba? Okay. The comparative naman, comparative degree signifies quality pwedeng in greater or in less, lesser degree. Dyan, dalawang bagay ang kinukumpara. Two things are being compared. May comparison, kaya nga comparative eh, meron ng compar comparison. Dalawang bagay, maaaring bagay or kung ano man ang pinagkukumpara. And lastly, we got the superlative degree. Pinakamataas daw. Yeah. Superlative degree signifies quality in the greatest or least degree naman. Maari siyang mataas, maaring mababa. Mababa. Greatest or least degree. Three or more items are being compared. 
hindi dalawang kinukumpara sa superlative, kundi tatlo at mas higit pa ang pupwedeng maikumpara with the superlative degree. So, tandaan, class, positive degree, comparative, and the superlative degree. Okay, let's try to figure out this picture. Okay, anong napapansin niyo sa ating picture na nandito? Naglalakad na family, di ba? Okay. Okay. So, the girl is tall. Then, but how does the mother appear to be compared to her daughter? Ah. Ito po. The mother is taller than her daughter. And how does the father appear appear to be compared to his wife and daughter? The father is the tallest of them all. Okay, so we got tall, taller, and tallest. Tall, taller, and Okay. Okay. So later on, we will try to think and comment down the words or the adjectives with comparative, with um, superlative. Okay. With the degrees of adjective, the positive, comparative, and superlative. Mama yaya. Okay. The girl is tall. It is the positive one. Then followed by taller, the comparative, dahil nga itong mother is taller, mas patangkad sa kanyang daughter, and ang tallest of them all, ang kanila, ang, ang, ang kanya o yung tatay, yung father. Okay? Positive, tall. Comparative, taller. Change in spelling. And superlative, tallest. There is a change in spelling as well. Kung mapapansin ninyo, um, yung sa spelling niya, Kapag comparative, we added ER. And pag superlative, we added EST from the positive na spelling natin. You're right, Joel, Jacqueline, Yana, Margie, um, Christopher. Okay. You're right. Ang gagaling talaga ng grade 3 learners natin. It's actually my first time sa grade 3, kaya nabilib naman talaga ako sa inyo. All right, let's proceed with our learning task one. Write the comparative and superlative degree of each of the adjectives below. Write your answers in your notebook. Oy, prepare your last, ha? Yung learning activities nyo, o kaya yung inyong mga module. O kung wala man itong activity na to, you can have your own paper or even dito na lamang sa ating comment box. Okay, let's proceed with number one. Oy, nakikita natin dito po. I... Sa ball or mga, mga bola. Yeah. Okay, so we got the big one. Then, ano bang susunod? So, yung big natin ay ang positive. Then, followed by yung mas malaki daw na bola. It is bigger. Correct, Christine? And followed by the pinamalaking bola. It's the biggest. You are right, Neri, Ryan, ang gagaling talaga, ha? Christopher, um, Anna Marie, Lord John Ray, nice one. Ryan, <laughs> very nice, ha? Very active and participative talaga ang learners natin. Bilib na bilib si Tutor Jester with all of you guys. Jing Jewel, you are also correct. Let's proceed with number two. Yeah. For positive word, you got there sweet. Sweet. Ano ba? Ang po pwede nating ilagay doon. So remaining blanks. It's what? Okay, you got it. Sweeter and sweetest. You're right, Iros. You're right, Ryan. Jacqueline, Sirene. Ramiel, nice one. Arian, ang galing talaga, ha? Ang galing. 
Kyle Ross, very nice. Who knows, baka kayo na maging shooty of the week ni um, Shooter May for next week. And we also got here. Okay. Pag sinabi natin thick, makapal sa Tagalog, di ba? Thick. Number three, we are on number three na. You are correct, Anina. Emily, Christopher, Oy, Janelle. It is indeed what? Okay, you got it, Lord Janere de los Santos. It's thicker and thickest. Thicker as our comparative and thickest as our superlative. Later on, mag-iisip kayo ha ng mga words na may positive, comparative, and superlative um, degree of adjectives. And later, you will use that in a meaningful sentences or sentence. Okay? Tama ka, Margie, Cyrene, Jean. Ay, galing. <laughs> si Ahmed, si Jing Jewel. Sino pa? Si Joel. Nice one, ha? Huh? talaga. For sure, your teachers are really happy at this moment kasi they are seeing you participating in our e session. And by that, talagang they can see that you are really eager in learning despite the pandemic that we are experiencing. Some adjectives are irregularly compared. Hindi lang sa spelling, ano, uh, kung kanina, we are just adding ER and EST. ER for comparative and EST for superlative. However, meron ding irregularly na compared or yung nagbabago yung spelling. Or nag there is a change in spelling from positive to comparative. Talagang ibang-iba yung spelling niya. Hindi lang tayo magdadagdag. Talagang pinalitan talaga natin. Mostly, yung mga letters doon sa meaning ng positive to comparative to superlative. Tama ba, Joel? Uy, tama daw ako, sabi ni Joel. Jacqueline, Margie, Neri, uh -huh. Jericho. Yeah. Pwede nyo itype ang inyong school, ha? So that your school will be acknowledged. Okay? Yung teacher mo at yung principal mo. <laughs> Okay, so we got here the positive degree, good, bad, ill, many, much, little, less. So isa isa natin. From positive degree ng good, it will become better. Oy, there is a change in spelling talaga, nagbago talaga yung mismong spelling. Ano? Pero yung thought niya, nandun pa rin. Umangat lang ng bahagya yung good, yung meaning ng good, naging better Sha. That is the comparative degree of good. Yun ay better. And ang superlative naman ng better ay best. Good, better, and best. Okay? Watching from Santa Tomas Elementary School, SDO Aliaga Annex. That's Ryan Matthew Cobar. Tilapayo Elementary School, si Mrs. Agnes R. Antonio, or until Rihanna Rain. Nice one. Correct. Christopher Elorim. Elorim. Christopher Jr. Elorim. Nice one. So yung bad naman, it may badder or baddest? No. It is from bad, yung positive, ang kanya comparative ay magiging worse. Nag-change again ng spelling. Notice the spelling. And yun namang superlative, naging worst. Okay? Try to notice their spelling. From bad to worse, yung letter E yung dulo, and superlative naman, worst, letter T ang dulo. Katulad nung nasa naunang word, di ba? Next, we got L. Pwede, ganun din. Worse and worst. Okay? Watching from um, Dumi yeah, yeah. Si Anne Domingo from General Aguinaldo Elementary School, Main Division of Isabella. Wow. Okay. Nice one. Magalona Elementary School, SSEC Brandon Bolivar. Okay. Next, we got many. Is it many or many? Yes. Indeed, mali iyon. Ano? So kapag many, ang positive natin, magiging ang comparative naman niya ay more and most. Okay. Um, let's move naman dun sa little. Little, less, and 
least. Kapag less, lesser, and least. Alright. Thank you so much, ha? Don Enrique Bautista Elementary School. Debes in San Pablo City, La Guna. Very good, Lord. Very good, Lord, talaga. Watching from Grade 3, Akasha of Santa Cruz Elementary, Quezon. Teacher daw niya si Melissa, si Ma Melissa, na pole, si Iros. Ay, very nice. Next one. Testing one's knowledge. Try to figure out the picture. Pansinin niyo nang mabuti yung picture. Yung, ano bang, may, ano bang picture meron tayo? We got a glass of water. Di ba? There is a little amount of water in this glass. How much water is in this glass compared to the glass on the right? There is a less amount of water compared to the glass on the right. How much naman water is in the, this glass compared to all the glasses? Ito naman. This glass has the least, pinakakakaunti daw, least amount of water of the three glasses. So from little, less, and least. Okay? Alright. Remember, some one-syllable adjectives with a single vowel before the consonant form their comparative and superlative degree by doubling the last letter or inuulit daw yung last letter before adding ER. Patulad nung may mga um, words tayo maya maya. Ulitin ko ha, sorry ha. Some one-syllable adjectives with a single vowel before the consonant form their comparative and superlative degree by doubling the last letter before adding ER. For the comparative and the est or yung EST for the superlative degree. Example, mad, madder, maddest. Yung mad na positive natin para maging comparative siya, dinoble yung B. Ang B yung last letter dun sa word. Bago pa idagdag yung ER para maging tama ang spelling for comparative. Go naman. For superlative, dinagdagan din ng another D. Then, we added the S to make it a correct spelling ng superlative degree ng mad, which is maddest. Did you get it? Tama daw, according to Joel. Thank you so much, Iana. Okay, opo, according to Siri, nakikinig talaga, ha? Next, ito naman. <clears throat> the word then is often used with comparative adjectives. Examples, my jacket is thicker than your jacket. So hindi lamang daw, we just uh, putting a change in spelling. However, we are just, we may use then para compare ng mga bagay. Ano? My jacket is thicker than your Jacket. Alam na naman natin yan, di ba? Then. Next. The word the before an adjective signifies superlative degree. So gumagamit pala tayo ng the or yung article na the that which, which signifies the superlative degree of an adjective. She is the cutest among the three. She's the biggest. She's the tallest. Okay? She's the smallest. Did you get it? Yes po, I get it. You were able to get it. Joel, you're right, Tutor Jester. It's according to Rihanna Rain. Thank you so much. Salamat sa pag-appreciate. Uh, Riley, thank you. Janelle. Janelle? <laughs> Janelle? <laughs> All right. So, po daw, according to Cyrene. Correct. Very participant. Palakpakan nga ang mga sarili. Natutuwa talaga si Tutor Jester. Huh? From YouTube, we have Jamer. Thank you po. Thank you po, ha? <laughs> Married Domingo. Thank you, Riley. Okay. Let's have the learning task two. Choose the correct form of adjective for each sentence. Write your answers in your notebook. Oy, may notebook na, di ba? <laughs> Kung wala, pwedeng mga, mga papel na hindi niya ginagamit dyan. Or just here, 
just type sa ating comment box. Okay, let's proceed. Number one, this milk, this milkshake is sweet, sweeter, sweetest. This milkshake is sweet, sweeter, sweetest. Kindly or identify, or make it analyze the content ng buong sentence. Kapag inanalyze mo yung sentence, makikita mo or may isip mo, ay ito pala yung tamang sagot for this. Ay positive degree pala to. Ay comparative pala. Ay may kinumpare, so it's comparative. Ay walang kinumpare, it is uh, positive. Uy, ito yung may comparison ng tatlong bagay, di ba? O higit pa, uy, yun ay superlative pala. Analyze the sentence. Analyze the meaning of the sentence. Number one, this milkshake is Sweet, sweeter, or sweetest? The answer is indeed sweet. You're right, Ryan. You're right, Lord. Oy, Lord, you're right. Yana Rain. Uh-huh. Yana, Riley, correct. Sino pa ba? Si Joel. Si uh, Anna. Elsa. <laughs> si Anna. Okay. Thank you, Janelle. Tama po ako. Tontawa si Janelle, ha? Palakpa lang sarili mo, Janelle. Janelle. <laughs> Emily, Riley, correct. Number two, our she remains the small, smaller, or smallest primate in the Philippines. Our she remains the small, smaller, or smallest primate in the Philippines. What do you think is the answer for number two? Small, smaller, smallest, but hmm. <laughs> okay, you got it right. It's indeed the smallest primate in the Philippines. You are right, Lord. Hmm. Ramiel, you're right, Yvette. Janelle, Joel, 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 Maridel, correct, tama, tama kayo. Sino pa ba? Si Arian, Yana, Mergy, Christine, Riley, Janelle again. <laughs> correct, tama ka, Joel. All right, number three. My uncle is the rich, richer, or richest man in our town. My uncle is the rich, richer in our town. Huh? What is your answer for that? Huh? Wait, according to Janelle, it's... Wow. Riches? Rich now, Janelle. Hello, good afternoon to Sir June. Si Sir Kuya June. Sa Lago, Sir Kuya June. Sa Lago bang Manalo from the San Juan, Batangas. From San Juan, Batangas. Ayan. Thank you so much, Idol Kuya June. To Mom Chuenza also. Mom Angel, thank you po. And also, we got, you're right, Neri. <laughs> yeah? Tama ka? Lord, Yvette? Richest man in our town. How I wish that would also be the richest man. Hmm. Soon. Si pag atsaga ang kailangan, di ba? Number four. Today's weather is cloudy. Cloudier? Cloudiest than yesterday. What do you think is the answer for number four? Hmm. You were right. Okay. And the answer for that is cloudier. According to Shooter J. Salamat, Shooter J. Number, yeah, you're also right. Baka magtampo, si Janelle, si Ai, si Arian, Riley. <laughs> Number five, the sound of the chirping birds. Pleasant, more pleasant, or most pleasant than the sound of crickets. <laughs> the sound of the chirping bird. Pleasant ba? More pleasant or most Pleasant. What do you think is the answer for number five? Oi, watching from Taal Central School. Si Mark Mendoza ulit. Very good, huh? More pleasant, according to Ma'am Je. To I, more pleasant. Cloudier, huh? Kanina. Merji, more pleasant. <laughs> it's indeed more pleasant. Okay, we used the word that. Diba? It signifies it signifies pumiyok pa. That are comparative. Okay. Kumapapasin yung class, 
we have used the more and meron din kanina most, di ba? Kapag more, it connotes comparative. Kapag most naman, superlative. Hindi lahat, we are, we are changing the spelling or adding ER and EST. However, meron din tayong ina-add na more na word from the positive degree para maging comparative. Most naman, para maging superlative. Did you get it? I hope you were able to get it. Thank you so much, Iros. Okay. Learning task three. Complete the story by supplying each blank with the correct form of the given adjectives. Write your answers in your notebook. One sunny day, Galvez family went on a picnic near the river. Sammy, the blank, a word natin is young, among the three children of Mr. and Mrs. Galvez, saw a flock of ducks along the river. Ang ating uh, positive word is young. What do you think is the answer for it? Huh? Come on. Come on, online learners. Wag may hiyang magsagot. <laughs> All right. Kasi nga, may word na among, among the three, tatlo, ang kinukumpara, it is indeed the youngest. You are correct. Arian, correct ka din. Kairos, Lord, Riley, tama ka. Correct na kuna ka dyan. <laughs> Maridal, tama ka din. Next. It is fat. I know. <laughs> Sammy said, yes, Sammy, take a look at the black duck. It is blank. You word that is fat. Then the yellow duck. Hmm. What is your answer for the fat one? Hmm. Ano ba? Fatter or fattest ba yan? Let's reveal it's fatter. You're right. Yanner or Yanner. Yana. Ryan. Lord. Iros. Correct. Hey. Hmm. Then, the yellow duck, Lisa said with excitement. Next paragraph. As soon. Ah, wait. Dun sa father, kaya sinabi natin siyang um, comparative. Kasi nga, may word na then. Diba? At isa lang. Uh, I mean, merong kinukumpara sa kanya. Okay? Kaya it is a comparative. Pattern. Proceed na tayo sa so, next one. As soon as the table is ready, they began eating their lunch that Mrs. Galvez prepared. Mother, this is the blank delicious adobo I have ever tasted. Mother, this is the blank delicious adobo I have ever tasted. And ba ang tamang sagot dyan? Okay, it's most delicious. You're right. Janelle, Joel, 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 I, Lord. Yana, Arian. Ano ba? <laughs> palayo ako ng palayo. You're right. Tama ka, Iras, Ibet. Next. Uh, ayusin ko lang pagbasa, ha? Mother, this is the most delicious adobo I have ever tasted. <laughs> Harold exclaimed. The children swore in the river. The water from this river is blank, cold, than the water from our faucet. Arteno, from Pasi. <laughs> the water from this river is cold than the water from our faucet. Is it colder or coldest? You're right, Janelle. It's colder. Tama ka. Tama ka rin. Tama tayong lahat. <laughs> and it was the best day ever. Nice work. Thank you so much, grade 3 English learners, for uh, in our Summarizing learning, the degrees of adjectives show that the words that we use to describe people, things, animals, places, and ideas can be in varying levels depending on how they appear to be. There, there are three degrees of adjectives, the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. Knowing the different degrees of adjectives help us to describe nouns and pronouns. Thank you so much to our tutor, May. Next week, makakasama niyo na sa ako po, si tutor. Chester, I had fun with our grade three learners. Goodbye. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating e tutorial session ngayong araw. 
Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live Free Online Tutorial Session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit Channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines Social Media Accounts. Paalam!